When you have no idea where to start and you want to switch to menstrual cups, oftentimes you end up Googling and you might find out that there are menstrual cup quizzes out there to help you find the right one for you. I want to tell you all about my period nirvana quiz and why I think it's going to help you find the right cup and some of the things that went into designing it. Hi everybody, if you don't know me, my name is Kim Rosas and I'm a menstrual cup expert. I've been teaching people online and in workshops how to use and what a menstrual cup is for almost a decade. And in that time, I've learned a lot about cups and about discs, which are a more recent innovation in the reusable period care space. All of that knowledge I have funneled into my quiz on periodnirvana.com. The period nirvana quiz is something that I don't think has ever been done before because it uses a combination of branch logic, which is basically um, a customized path um, in the back end that none of you see when you take the quiz, and weighted values to get you to the right product. Building the quiz took six months of logic creation and testing, and since it came out in, I wanna say September, I have gone on to further update the quiz with new questions and new results because things are constantly changing in the menstrual cup world. And there have been new products that have come out and there have been some suggestions from you, people who have been taking it. And I thought, wow, that's actually a great idea. Let's do it. And so I did. So first, let's just give a little bit of um, what the quiz does. If you are someone who wants to switch to a menstrual cup or a menstrual disc, it can be super overwhelming. It's just, I mean, hundreds of cups. Um, one of the things that I found out is that not everyone knows there are this many cups so that they're basically going to a store and picking uh, the cups that are available to them on the shelves, which are not always a good fit. That ultimately leads them to have a bad experience with cups because it was never something that was going to work for them in the first place. And then there's the other section of people who know about all these products and they are stuck in this endless cycle of research and eventually just give up because they don't know where to start. They don't know what size to pick. They don't know which brand is going to work for them or what firmness or what length. As the saying goes, a confused mind says no. And all of these people are missing out on what could be a really a uh, game-changing product, a life-changing product for them um, because they're just overwhelmed. And so that was my goal, was to make picking the right product, whether it be a cup or a disc, much easier for the general public, especially as these brands continue to come out and every single day it feels like there's a new menstrual cup brand. When I decided to make the quiz, I worked backwards. Um, so I should say that I sell products as well. I sell them on my new store, period.shop. Period.shop is the only and the first reusable menstrual products store in the U.S. So nothing like that existed. And uh, for many years, I wanted it to exist, and I was hoping someone would create it, and no one did. And eventually I said, okay, I guess I'm going to do it. <laughs> and I have never done that before. I've never run a retail store, so it's been quite a learning experience for me. But I wanted menstrual cups and discs to get what they deserved, which was their own space where someone could come in and decide from the products that are listed what they wanted to buy. And perhaps they wanted to buy two things, which was very hard to do before I started period.shop because there was no store that sold lots of discs or lots of cups uh, with the exception of Amazon, but they also sell products that are uh, white labeled and generic and the same cup over and over and over, but just under different brands, which is another part of the confusion for you as a consumer. But I ultimately decided with the quiz, I would just start from the results that I knew would cover all of the menstrual bases and work backwards. When I did that, out of all the outcomes that I designed, I brought in, as a retailer, um, I brought in those results and sold them on period.shop and brought in other cups that I just don't put on the quiz because they're not as good of a fit, but I sell them. Um, and that is how it works. I think it's always good to be transparent. And so I want people to know that if you purchase a quiz result and you purchase it from period.shop, I make money because I'm a retailer. I don't make a lot of money because re retail margins are very small, um, but I do make money and I didn't, put the quiz result in the quiz because I sell it, I sell it because it's on the quiz and it's a good result and a brand that I really love. 
if they're on the quiz there's something I really believe in and I think it's going to be the best option for you whether I carry it or not and if I carry it it's a bonus. <laughs> now let's talk about some of the updates. So I have given the quiz a fresh look, fresh graphics, and some fresh graphics within the quiz since it first launched and the big change is that I now ask users if they have an IUD or not and that is something that a, a, a commenter on TikTok said you should ask if people have an IUD and even though you can wear menstrual cups with an IUD uh, there are some studies that have said it could result in a higher percentage of expulsion for people who use menstrual cups compared to people who do not and I have explored that, I read the study, I looked into it and decided that it would be really good to ask people if they have an IUD or not because what that gives people is an option to go to my website and read an article that gives them the facts about you know, what are the chances it could expel? What are the precautions you could take if you use a menstrual cup? What should you do? And that would include shortening your strings or uh, always, obviously always breaking the seal, making sure you're not tugging your strings when you remove your cup. But if that person who's taking the quiz does not feel comfortable with a cup, then they can say so and the quiz will give them their menstrual disc result instead since menstrual discs are suction free. And if you don't want either option and you're a little bit nervous, your result may end up taking you to uh, cloth pads or period underwear. And so that's a new change as well. There is a new result on the quiz. The new result being the Cora disc is a product that came out recently and I'm excited about it because it helps you remove the disc uh, because it has a little scoopy thing. And so that's a good option for people who are a little bit disc averse and gives them kind of a safety net. Same for the Luma disc. So if you're a first time disc user and you're nervous about it, that's one of your options. What I think people don't know about the quiz is that it is all of the knowledge I have consumed and put into my brain and like absorbed through all of my years as an expert and educator on menstrual cups through workshops, through online messages and community forums where I help people uh, with their menstrual cup questions. I get like 20 messages a day from people on Instagram who need help with cups. I get emails from people who need help with cups. I have run across virtually every single possible scenario that you can think of that a person can have with their body in cups or discs. Uh, in fact, within the last month, I've had two different people ask me, could they use a menstrual disc or cup when they have two uteruses and two vaginas? So there really is nothing I haven't heard of or seen. And because there are certain results that are received often, people sometimes wonder what the what the uh, motivation is. And the motivation is that most people are gonna get similar results because they're average. <laughs> That's the motivation. You are an average height cervix with an average period and an average vagina. Although really there's nothing average about you. Uh, but there are 27 total results. And that just means that of those people taking the quiz, a smaller number of them are gonna get a more accurate result than they would with a quiz with less results because it is so detailed drilled down that someone who has a very specific need is gonna get a very specific result, but you might only have 20 people get that result a month or 200 people get that result a month compared to thousands who get another one. And it's just because we are made in a certain way and more of us are more aligned with some of the products than others. And if you have a very specific need, like a very low cervix and a super heavy flow, you get them a rule of one size. If you have an average cervix, an average flow, and you're very active, uh, you might get the salt cup. If you have a high cervix and a normal flow, you might get the kind cup or the lily cup. If you have, um, have had experienced bladder pressure and are very average in every other way, you're probably gonna get the salt soft. If you have uh, other needs and you are an average cervix and have a heavy flow and you wanna try a disc, you're gonna get a Nixit. If you are someone who is average in most ways, but you have an average or low cervix, you're probably gonna get a core disc. Um, it's all up here, but every single outcome exists because there's a need and you might be one of the lucky people to get one of the very low percentage of results, or you may be someone most likely who gets one of the higher pieces of the pie chart. I think what I would like out of this video is just to once again explain to people how special this quiz is and uh, frankly how proud of it I am 
even though it's never going to be perfect, because honestly, I think I could make it perfect if the technology existed. Truly, I think I could, but I have some limitations on technology that keep it from being 100%. But right now, it's like 95%. And then if you get a result that you don't think is right, then you go to the Period Nirvana community and ask for some input as well. Or you go to one of the other resources on Period Nirvana, like the comparison chart, and look at cups and decide for yourself what you think might work well. Ultimately, you know your body best. And even if I give you a result that I think is gonna work for you on the quiz, it might not be the best for you, and you might be able to find that for yourself through some other research or through just shopping and deciding this looks like a good fit for me. Um, I can't do that because I'm not you, but I can help you to the highest extent that I can with the quiz and through all the other resources that I create on Period Nirvana. And then if you want to shop, I would certainly love for you to shop at period.shop and support the small business that is the reason I can do these quizzes and these videos and education because the quizzes and the video and the education do not make money. <laughs> uh, you know, the retail store is what really funds this kind of education on YouTube uh, and all the TikTok and all that stuff. If you have taken the quiz and you think it's amazing, it would be an honor if you would share it. And just, you know, when you see people on the internet talking about menstrual cups, say, hey, did you take the period Nirvana quiz? Because uh, it's really good. <laughs> Word of mouth is everything and your support is what will make the quiz more successful and help other people find it because I can only do so much to tell people it exists by doing videos and sharing it on Instagram and sharing it on TikTok. Um, but if it's been helpful to you and you share it, that does me a huge favor and helps, uh, helps this business grow in a way that I can help more people. Um, and that is really my goal. I, I like to earn income. I like to make money. Who doesn't? But um, my goal is to help people and I do what I do because I love it. Brands have asked me to work for them before. I have had brands say, you write your own ticket. You could do whatever you want to do. Just work for me because what you do is amazing and we could use someone like you with your experience. And I thought about it and it is easier. I could have just had a salary job and do what I do for a brand, but my heart is not in that. My heart is in helping every single person find what works for them. And I'm never going to be loyal to one product because it's just not who I am. It's not what makes me happy and I, what makes me happy is when people write to me and say that I changed their life because I pointed them in the right direction to find the product that worked for them when nothing else did. And that before they tried this one product that I helped them find, they were miserable. And those, those emails and messages make every, you know, all the hours I spend editing video and working and answering questions really worth it. And I certainly wish I had more of myself to give so that I can answer all these questions because I do feel guilty that I can't answer every single question because I know that out of everyone in the world, and this is my ego coming in, out of everyone in the world, um, I'm probably one of only maybe 10 people who could really help them or maybe the only person. And so I do feel bad when I can't answer every single person's question. And that becomes a little bit overwhelming to be completely honest. But, um, you know, I'm trying to point people to the group on Facebook. That way they can get their questions answered if I can't personally answer it. Um, but I do this because it really does make a difference for, for people. And when I made this new quiz and this new website, um, I just wanted to do more. I wanted to have more content and I wanted to have be more helpful um, and more accurate. And that is, um, I think I'm doing that. And I'm really proud of what I've done in this year uh, since starting Period Nirvana and Period.shop. Um, I'm really just so proud that it's doing what I wanted it to do and helping people. Um, and uh, I haven't paid myself yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to get to that point, um, but it's a slow process and building a business is a slow process and it's, um, it starts with doing what you love, at least for me. I know not everyone has that privilege and luxury, but I've built my whole career on doing the things I really enjoy doing and that has manifested ultimately in Period Nirvana and Period Shop. Um, and I am just so excited to be doing this. <laughs> Literally, I cannot believe this is my job. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
I'm just ending my period. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm not emotional at all. Um, okay. Get yourself together, Kim. Mm. Thanks for being part of my period nirvana community and uh, just making what I do worth it and appreciating what I do because really when you send those notes, it makes it makes what I do possible because it gives me the motivation to keep going even when it's really hard. Um, and it has been really hard. And some days it's not, some days it is. And some days I've wanted to just quit. Um, but then I think about the people that I have helped and the lives that people have told me I've changed. Um, and that is something special. Not everyone gets to do something like that. And Yeah, that's it.